All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the logistic differential equation. So pretty much everything you need to know for uh, calculus BC uh, related to this. Uh, so it's going to look like this, dy dx equals k times y times the quantity 1 minus y over l. And then for what we're going to do, we need an initial condition. So I'm going to say y of 0 is equal to y sub 0. Okay, so as with a lot of things, the 1 that you see there is really important. Um, everything I'm going to tell you to do is going to be based on the fact that you have the differential equation in this form. So if you don't have it in this form, you got to force that to be a 1, and you do that pretty much by factoring. Um, so if you have the differential equation in this form, the solution is something that you're allowed to have memorized. You actually get the solution by doing partial fractions and some clever substitution stuff. Um, but it looks like this. y equals l over 1 plus ae to the negative k times x. Um, so that negative sign is there, and then there's a. Well, what's a? a is actually going to be uh, L minus Y zero over Y zero. What I want you to do right now and forever is to memorize these things. So if you have them memorized, you're allowed to just use them. So let's assume that you do have them memorized. Um, so you have your differential equation. Let's talk about some of the things you know automatically. Well, one of the things you know is that the limit as X approaches infinity of the solution to this differential equation is going to be L. And that's true regardless of the initial condition. So the initial condition might be um, less than L. It might be greater than L. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as you have this differential equation, the limit as X approaches infinity is going to be L, and that's why we're using L for L for limit. Uh, okay, so let's suppose that you have an initial condition that is less than L. Well, then you know a lot of things. Uh, the first thing that you know is that Y is going to be an increasing function, so the solution is always going to be increasing. You know that um, there's going to be a point of inflection when y is equal to L over 2. So that's a little different from things you might be used to. Uh, everything for the logistic differential equation is in terms of the, uh, the dependent variable y. So we know all these things about the dependent variable. We know very few things about the independent variable. Um, so concavity, it's going to be concave up until you get to L over 2. And then it's going to be concave down after that. And then as I stated in number 1, the limit is going to be L. Okay, so those are things you know if the initial condition is less than L. If the initial condition is greater than L, um, there's really just one thing going on, uh, and it's going to be decreasing. So no matter what, you're going to end up with decreasing. And also, it's not going to have a point of inflection because it's not going to be able to get down to L over 2 uh, where it would have that point of inflection. Okay, so those are the things that we know. And let's take a look at an example. So let's say we have dy dx equals 2 times y times the quantity 2 minus y over 4, and we have the initial condition y of 0 is uh, 1. All right, so first thing you notice is that this is not in the form that we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor a 2 out. So if I factor a 2 out of that uh, 2 minus y over 4, I'm left with 4 times y. And then the 2 there, I factored a 2 out, so that's a 1. And then minus y over, I factored a 2 out of this, so this will become 8. Okay, so now this is in the form that I want. So I actually right away know something. Um, I right away could answer the question, the limit as x approaches infinity of y of x, the solution, is equal to 8. So that's one thing. That's actually a really common question, and you'd be done at that point. Um, I also could answer a second question right now. Uh, since the initial condition is less than the limit, I can tell you where the point of inflection happens. So uh, y of x, the solution, has a point of inflection. Uh, when y is equal to um, L over 2 or 8 uh, over 2, which is 4. So I still don't know the value of x that makes that happen, but I could have already answered another question, which is a common question to answer. Let's uh, go ahead and find the solution to this. So we have to collect those pieces of information. So uh, by observation, I know that k is 4. I know that L is 8, and I'm given y of 0 or y sub 0 is 1. What I need to do is calculate a. So a is L minus y0 over y0, or 7. And then I have the solution memorized, so I now know the solution to this differential equation is y equals 8 over 1 plus 7e to the negative 4x. All right, so uh, at that point, I'm probably done. But there is one more question that frequently you have to answer. Um, and that is to find the value of x for the point of inflection. So that means to solve y equals 4. So to do that, I'm going to take my solution and just set it equal to 4. And here I'm kind of cross-multiplying. Uh, hopefully you can follow the math. I feel like if you're doing the logistic differential equation, you can probably follow the math here. Um, I'm going to subtract 1 and divide by 7. 
And then I'm going to take some natural logs and also solve. So I get x equals negative 1 fourth natural log of 1 seventh. Okay, so that answers kind of the final question that I might have been asked. So the point of inflection occurs when x is equal to negative 1 fourth natural log of 1 seventh. But then because of properties of natural logs, I can take that negative, bring it up as the exponent of 1 seventh, and make it 1 fourth the natural log of 7. Uh, so that's pretty much everything you need to end up doing with the logistic differential equation. And I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.